and just a line as well on a very interesting teenage signing from Norway. Martin Odegaard has been linked with Arsenal. He has in fact been linked with clubs across Europe including Manchester City and Bayern Munich. He currently plays for Norwegian club Strom God's, Strom's God's set. We can now get more on this from Martin Shelbeck from TV2 in Oslo. Uh, first of all, Marius, just tell us a bit about the player. He's been to visit a number of English clubs. Is there any chance that he could move to the Premier League? Of course it is. It's, it's, he has been visiting all the, the big clubs in, in the Premier League and, and uh, as far as I know uh, it's a free spot on the central midfield in Liverpool next year. So uh, maybe he will take uh, Steven Gerrard's uh, role and move to his favourite club and his father's favourite club, uh, Liverpool. He's, uh, he's a big Liverpool uh, fan, Martin Odegaard. But I think maybe that... Um, that uh, Bayern Munich and uh, Real Madrid is, uh, is leading to, to sign him. And the latest rumor is that uh, Martin is um, going to visit the, the Dutch uh, talent industry, uh, Ajax, um, in this month. Uh, so uh, who knows? I think uh, it's going to be a, a sale uh, this month because uh, Strömskutze, the club, uh, needs the money and uh, he is uh, only having uh, one year left at his contract so the club uh, wants to sell him now not wait uh, a year then he's uh, worth uh, zero for them uh, so um, who knows maybe arsenal maybe liverpool maybe real madrid or or maybe barcelona who knows he is only 16 though marius we have to be mindful of that what's the word in norway where do you feel would be the best destination from him this coming season uh, the difficult thing with, with such good and such young players is always how good can they be. Uh, one year ago his main goal was to get his debut in the Norwegian Premiership. So he was uh, uh, a 15-year-old uh, guy uh, going to um, uh, high school and was a bit nervous to play in the Norwegian Premiership. This year he has been uh, this year he has been uh, the best player in his only game in the um, under 21 game and he has uh, played for the the national team. He has been an uh, attraction in the Premiership, scored some very nice goals and he the whole Europe uh, is talking of him. So he could uh, develop to a uh, to a great, great player uh, already this year. So uh, maybe he will he will take the the level in in Premier League. Maybe he will take the the level in Bundesliga in in Germany. But I think maybe at at this point in January 2015, maybe the the Dutch level would would fit him. You you see that with uh, young players from, for example, Denmark, uh, Sweden. Um, they are going to clubs like Ajax, uh, Feyenoord, PSV Eindhoven and, and do great. So, so maybe that's the best level, but, but who knows with, uh, with the Mozart of football from a little town in Norway. Marius, many of our viewers won't have seen him play. What can you tell us about his style of play? What can English fans, or indeed fans from any other nation in Europe, expect to see if he arrives on their shores next season? First of all, I will tell your viewers to come and see him because he's a fantastic player. He's an attraction to watch. And he's, he's not very small, but he's uh, probably uh, uh, the size of, um, of an elegant, uh, a bit higher than Philippe Coutinho, I think. And he has some of the Philippe Coutinho in his play, his, his left foot. Uh, and he's uh, elegant with the ball, has a good... Um, What's the name Something. in, uh, in English again? Yeah. He has a good... Uh, he, yeah, he's, um, he's reading the play very much. And, and he is uh, good to advance meters on the pitch. Uh, he, he likes to compare... Uh, oh no, he, d he doesn't like to compare himself with Lionel Messi. But Lionel Messi is his favorite player. And you can actually see some Messi in his, uh, in his touches, in his uh, passes. And um, yeah, he's an attraction. So for you guys, I hope he will go to the to the Premier League. But I'm I'm not sure. Okay, thanks for joining us this morning, Marius. Thank you. Okay, let's talk a little. Let's get the morning view then, shall we? On this prodigy, Martin Odegaard. Then just turned 16. In fact, he made his senior debut 
uh, in international football uh, at a very young age. He's 15 years, 351 days. Right, how do you nurture a young talent? Tell us about what happened at Arsenal when a, when a young talent such as this arrived. Yes, it was very similar to Fabregas uh, when he first turned up at Arsenal. I think it was about 2002 that um, he bought him from Barcelona, 15 years old. Uh, come into the uh, the side, and we really didn't know him as, as English players and foreign players like Patrick Vieira was in the, in the team. And he had uh, two two years probably of development in the youth team system, uh, where he played uh, on a regular basis in the under 18s and developed and, and found out about the English game, um, which I think really helped him. When he did make his debut, he was toughened up a little bit and he knew exactly what to expect. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see this guy. I've never seen him play either. Sounds a, a very good player. Uh, lots of clubs are interested. But, you know, where he goes is very important. You know, if he goes to a place like Real Madrid or Bayern Where would Munich, you advise him? We heard the list of clubs there as mouth-watering. If you were his agent or his dad or, or whatever, what would you be saying well, to him? I think the first thing I would do if I was his dad and his agent is what, where is he going to learn the, the best moving forward you know it's not all about money at this young age and maybe that does come into their reckoning i don't know that's what uh, the big decision is for the the family and, and the agent but certainly where his development in football where am i going to improve as a player so you know there's lots of clubs where we can say well Bayern munich uh, the way they play under guardiola will, will fit into their system uh, so big decisions to make obviously liverpool might be front of the queue because you know the uh, the connection with his dad supporting Liverpool sometimes that does work um, and Brendan Rodgers might look at him and say you know he's a really up and coming star and he could be like a Fabregas uh, and, and maybe teams will look at what happened with Fabregas and, and say well if we can put him in the youth team for one or two seasons at, at 18 years old he could really hit the like, like Wayne Rooney did like Ross Barkley people like that could really uh, set the, set the uh, Premier League alight and we could have a real bargain on our hands because this is what they're looking at. You know, Arsenal paid £2 million for Fabregas, had all them years of service, and they moved him on for massive profit. So uh, I think clubs will be looking at that as well. Liverpool fans, Arsenal fans, Manchester City fans, are you excited about it? That's Ray's view. Let's get the morning view. All the stats and facts on this player from Aiden. That's right, Rob. Well, he's an exciting player who's made 15 appearances for Strom's God set this season, scoring five goals from his attacking midfield role. He also has three caps for Norway, starting just once. He has yet to score, though, an international goal. He signed his first professional contract in May and has since been watched by Manchester United and Real Madrid. And here's an interesting fact, Rob, one to make us all feel a bit old. He was born just six months after Norway's last appearance at the World Cup in 1998.